Yeah. Weezy, I heard. Weezy, I heard. Weezy, I heard. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, guys? This is the Get the Grind podcast. Hey, what's up? What's up? Hey. Hey. Hey, look here. We got. I'm gonna introduce my guest first, man. Said. Let's go. We cooling. The founder. Coolest way. Yeah, yeah, Tesla, yeah. man. We y'all coolin'. Make a, y'all make a big fella feel so special. Hey, man. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, hey. man. But to my left, I got wifey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Candace. Yeah, yeah, Candace. What's Tell going on? on? Hey. Hey. Young Vic. Oh, you already know what it is, baby boy. I'm, I'm representing out here, Young That's Vic. right. Actor. <laughs> you know, so we just, we gonna keep it moving. Sad, sad <laughs> right. call holder. Yeah, 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 yeah. We out here, we out here. And then uh, last but not least, me, fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm hey, me. I am fresh. Uh, fresh on Ramon, Sean. Hey, look, how y'all day go today though, man? Like, I, how y'all been, man? It's been a long time since I seen Sid. This is a comedy, hey, comedy event. I ain't yeah, get to talk to you. Event. I know that right? we was just kind of, just kind of chilling, but. Look, Sean and Kansas have been excellent. They've been real hospitable, you know, with, with the studio and everything. So I appreciate you guys. Aww. God bless y'all. Look, little Sean Jr., you be chilling. You <laughs> Aww, Look, peace you. and blessings to you guys, man. Like, you know, I wish you guys the best. Like, seriously. Oh, we Thanks. really so appreciate look, it. Look, appreciate look, when, when that. times get hard, y'all take care of each other. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Because that's what it's about. You see what I'm saying? Because nobody going to know. You guys, you see what I'm saying? Y'all know each other inside and out, so y'all make sure y'all y'all secure that. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> no, 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 look, pause, right, Wowzers. pause. But no, 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 y'all make sure y'all take care of each other. You see what I'm saying? Regardless of whatever, whatever, just make sure y'all take care of each other. Day. But mm-hmm. I thank y'all for the hospitality. Thank you. No problem, yeah, 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 yeah. Anytime. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, man? What's been going on, man? Hey, man, cooling, man. Like I said, we had a. Had to make it to this podcast, you know what I'm saying, like usual, every Saturday, you Communion. know what the deal is, and tomorrow I got the movie shoot, shout out to Casanova Productions. Casanova. Uh, man, just moving, man, moving, man, by the uh, by the end of this month, gonna have the, uh, the, the commercial distribution company back up and running, so I got that, that, that moving too, man, I just, I gotta keep going, gotta keep yeah. going, yo, and then you, you already know a dab of do, a dab of do. A dab of do. <laughs> Said and put the joint right, right, right in the, right in the mix, though. I'm feeling excited, You already know though. what it is. If you know we cool, if you ain't had this sauce yet, you might as well go ahead and get it, man, because you, you missing out on life we, right here. We just signed a, a Copax agreement, Vic, so go ahead, I'm, go ahead, I'm excited, go ahead, man. Go ahead, let them know, let them know. I'm excited. Sean, Sean allowed me and Candice allowed me to come on their platform. Um, to to you know a dab of do I'm proud of it. I actually set this up for my little brother. He was at the University of Kentucky, and this got him his hustle money. You see what I'm saying? Got him through school, economics major. Shout out to you, you dude. You yeah, what up, what up, what up, Josh? Josh? What up, Josh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And anybody else that wanna, you see what I'm saying? Make make some extra change. You see what I'm saying? I'm I'm a free agent. I'm I'm, I'm out here. Yeah, we networking. So yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. definitely. Hell yeah, that the, the sauce is, is a monster, man. You know what I'm saying? We uh, everybody who's tasted it, everybody who's got behind the product, they've been happy with it. Like it's not, it's not like we paying people to say, oh man, the sauce is great. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man, I I put it on my mom, I put it on my uh my chicken, my ribs or nah. They really did it and really enjoyed it. We didn't pop up at people's cookouts like yeah, put this on you. They looking at looking at saying like, nigga, who is you? You know what I'm saying? You put this on your what not? You ain't they like baby ribs. Yeah, they they, they like they like nah, man. We put some we put something different on my sauce. I ain't about to be messing up. Nah, but they they tested it, man, and, and it you know it's it's cookout tested, mother approved. You know what I'm saying? So I'll we good to go. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Oh, definitely. Oh, Kansas, look, you know she's gonna be, look, she hey, gonna be like, uh huh. Kansas right. review. Like this a break or break me. If she tell me she don't like it, I'm going out of business. I'm, that's gonna be the last time I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Say pop up on next week. I'll let you guys know. Absolutely. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. So what we what we got on the docket there, fresh? Hey, on docket. Look, I know y'all have been people's court. I, Fresh, who your barber is, though, Fresh? I'm looking at you right now, dog. All your line is straight, you see what I'm saying? That boy eyebrow is straight, you see what I'm saying? That boy all the way around straight. All the way around, Fresh, dog. You see what I'm saying? No, no, no. Oh, man. The eyebrow is done. But you see what I'm saying? I noticed that, you see what I'm saying? Like, he noticed your eyebrows, yo. Come on, man. Eyebrows, yo. Come on, man. His old lady, his wife, eyebrows straight. Come on, man. Who your who your people is? Fresh. Who your My mom about to be fired. 
That's his name, Fide. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to let y'all know that right now. Um, I'm, 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 I'm in the midst of looking for a new barber. Oh, oh, don't tell me that. Fresh is looking fresh right now. Fresh. That's why I got the hood on. Hey, look, oh, this, I did this hey, last week. Hey, look, don't tell me your barber can't cut it. <laughs> uh, he, <can't>, <laughs> <laughs> he need to cut it. <laughs> That's what he to do. Oh, man, look, yo. I thought but, you found somebody. I did, but um, mm. due to circumstances, uh, he's not professional enough. Mm. Fresh, but you're uh, fresh, though, fresh. That's, that's my name. You live up to your you name. See that right fresh. there? Ah, fresh, look, that. fresh made nothing out of something like Juvie. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Make mm-hmm. nothing out of something. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's right. So, yeah. Wow. Look, so, fresh. Appreciate them t- t- t-shirts, bro. And no I, problem, You got your clothing man. line going. I got yeah. it Look, talk right about now. it, bro. Talk about no it. No problem. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Yeah. But, uh... Fresh all the way fresh. This, this is the thing with that. When it, when it comes to my clothing line and it comes to everything else behind that, I try to support my guys. Right. You see, you see like, when he said, oh, I need one for said, I need one for black... When I went to the comedy thing, shout out to DJ Black. When, when I went, when I went to the comedy <laughs> thing, I'm like, I want to see. Cool as <laughs> I'm waiting for Sid to walk through the door. I want to see what Sid reaction is. <laughs> like it's like I want to see what Sid reaction is because Vic already know. He already seen my work, but I want to see what how, how Sid react to it. <laughs> <laughs> he just threw the shirt. Like I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for like a. You know, this, this hot. Nah, that like, was hot. It was all the way hot. We threw though. the shirt on and it stopped mingling. But no, look, 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 <laughs> we look was fresh. We already in the movement. We was already <laughs> moving. Right, but you know, I had just came out of class. My yeah, brain yeah. was spongy. It was hot, bro. Yeah, when that's I got cool. home, it was like 12, 1 o'clock. My wife was like, where you get that shirt from? Yeah, yeah. So that's why I knew, you know what I'm saying? Anytime she noticed, mm-hmm. you all the way straight, bro. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And she don't be into all that. I'm so, just... You need to whatever you're doing right now. You need to go ahead and run with it, man. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. I appreciate that from yeah. you, man. I really, I really Absolutely. appreciate that from you. Aww. From Absolutely. a guy, from from your standpoint, man. The fly traders and all, no, man. man. That's, do, do your thing, man. man. Shout out to fly traders. I, I appreciate. <laughs> 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 yeah, but um, I know, I know y'all been seeing that a whole social media thing, man. Absolutely. I know you seen the entertainment buzz. Mm-hmm. With our guys, man. Like, oh, man. Keith, what's Coco going on, Bay. man? What's cracking? What, what y'all think about the, all that, man? Like, yeah. I, I know I, I done seen the, the R. Kelly, the Me Too movement. No, I done no. seen the so Michael that's, Jackson. That's, that's where we going with this right now. Huh? I'm, I'm just gonna say this, bro. I'm gonna say this. I think as as African Americans, as you see, what I'm saying we gotta, we can't get get pigeonholed into like either you choose between this or between that. You see what I'm saying? Because I think there's an attack on African American males. Mm-hmm. It is. But that's this R. Kelly thing, that's definitely true. This might not be that. You see what I'm saying? So I don't think it is. I think he you see what I'm saying? Like James Baldwin, like, like James Baldwin said, it's it's a great crime in America be, to be comp- complexing your thinking. Mm-hmm. Right. So we can't we can't pigeonhole ourselves until you choose this or you choose that. Right. You see what I'm saying? We have to look at the facts. We have to look at, you know, where we are as a people. We have to look at, you know. There is an attack on on African American males. There it is. is. It is. But I don't. I don't think it's R. Kelly thing. But everything not a conspiracy. Though. That's what I'm every, saying. Every single time right. somebody, but, fuck, some, every time right. we mess up, but look, it ain't, it ain't, right, a, ain't right. a conspiracy. Now up. This, this is what I'm saying. The whole thing with the R. Kelly thing. What up, cuz? What's good? After the R. Kelly thing, they pinpointed all of the people that were targeted. Right. Then they right. say something about Michael Jackson. That that bothered me. Mm-hmm. That bothered me a whole lot. Right, and right. then Oprah Winfrey even said something about Michael Jackson. That right. bothered me. And, and Oprah That's Winfrey what... got invited to his house, and it was friends. And let me tell you something. Dick Gregory was was a close friend, like yeah, close yeah. comrade. And this Gregory. this came this came directly from Dick Gregory before all this happened. This was in 2015. And, and Right when we did the shoot, yeah, I remember when y'all and did Vic that. Yeah, can vouch to this. Yep, Dick I'm Gregory saying. said, and I'm, I'm gonna go on, and I don't, I don't go on camera or podcast. Dick Gregory said this. He said Michael Jackson did not touch or fool with any kids. Mm. Right. He said he was gay as hell, which is nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He, he was, but he didn't mess with no kids. Flamboyant, flamboyant. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? He didn't right. mess with no kids. And you gotta think back to early '90s. You see what I'm saying? Well. Right. Being gay was you know, don't ask, don't tell. Right. Exactly. So it exactly. was a different culture. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, the simple fact that the elder said, you know, he was around them, that he didn't touch no kids. I believe him. I believe him too. I believe you see him what I'm too. So I've heard him. Right speak. now you have pe- 
people after his estate. And yep. Back and his to, legacy. And his mom that. is suffering. Mm-hmm. Catherine. And his family is suffering. You see what I'm them, saying? His so daughters. He wanted to work that money, man. Right. right. They they don't lie. I ain't going to speak nothing else money. on it. I ain't going to speak nothing else on it. Mm, mm, mm. That's what I'm saying. Back to that. What I was saying. Back to that. What I get from the R. Kelly podcast. From I mean that podcast, but the whole documentary. Right. Main Cannon's got four daughters. Right. One of the one of the girls it, it kind of bothered me with one of the stories. Mm-hmm. The girl said she skipped skipped school to see R. Kelly. Her right. mom and, was at work. And her mom was at work. Mm. In the average Black American home, that that don't fly. Right. 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 I wish a, my child would. But see, but, <laughs> but, 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 but it, it it don't fly. But at the same time, the average. Average African American family, people are working two jobs and three jobs, and they I, I not they not home to, they not home that. to even supervise. I get, I get it. And and the thing is, when I was in high school, you see, what I'm saying I had the 25, 30 year olds with the cutlasses and the rims mm-hmm. pulling up at the it, school. We got you know I went to school with Wayne, BG, right. and all them guys. You see, what I'm saying I usually don't name drop, mm-hmm. but they was pulling up at the school. You know, I'm 17, 18 years old. How can I appeal to you as a 16, 17 year old when you got a 25, 27 year old yeah, yeah. coming up at the school. They already know mm-hmm. what's good. You see what I'm saying? That's yeah. already know what's good. They already so, know what's right, right. You see what I'm saying? There's a level of responsibility that's there on our part, but knowing what we know now, it was abusive, man. It was it was predatory. It you was. Of course. Uh, do you really think so? Because this girl skipped school and she lied about her age. Let's think back. Let's how think was he supposed how many, to know? How many of us skipped school? I didn't. How many, how many of us lied about our lives? I, I did. Stop the camera. You, no. you ain't no excuse. I did. I'm about to say. Oh, oh, I, 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 I was, I was, oh, oh, my dad was even playing that. She she my said, dad, said, no. Was, that's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. But you had parents that was there exactly. that would yeah. check on your accountability. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? And even though I had two parents in the household, I was able to skip school in the ROTC uniform. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Take my name tag. I did the same thing. But what I'm saying is, my thing is, my thing is. Tell you what, what's going on? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. R. Kelly is innocent, but everybody no that's at stake needs to be held accountable. Mm-hmm. The parents, exactly. I, I, the parents, I, I, I agree like, with you totally. 100%. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, if I found out that R. Kelly was messing with any one of my kids, I'll be R. Kelly's big, biggest fan right now. Problem. Backstage pass, Problem. everything. Problem. <laughs> but for those parents to Problem. come on on stage to. Right. You know, to to oh yeah, I mean to come on the platform and say oh yeah, you know I just want him to do this. Go get him. Right. Yeah, exactly. go get him. He's right. a star. It's not he's P, not hard to Master find. P, he made Master whole P, schedule online. Right. You see what I'm saying? And that's the thing with these artists. You're like you can catch them wherever you gonna catch them at. Like Master P said, I won't be on Lifetime throwing rocks at the window. I'm gonna burn that. Bit. I'm gonna yeah. burn that. Exactly. Exactly. Right. exactly. Everybody won't come say. out. I don't. There's no way. In the world. It's no way. There's no way in the world. You gonna see red and everything else is after that. So, so part of you, part of me thinks like, are they in it for the money? Hey, are they? Uh, are they getting you know? money? It, it, causes, they? it causes you to question yeah. the motive. Because there's no way if you're a parent, you're gonna allow any of that. And then, and then R. Kelly been on the record for paying, exactly. paying chicks off exactly. since, since he started. But speaking of the record, he was he allowed two of his girlfriends, two girlfriends. Now we live in a a, 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 a mono, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Society. Like, why would you let your two girlfriends on camera giving an interview? You see what I'm saying? Well, people are gonna make a judgment on you anyway, just mm-hmm. based upon that. Because by itself, you 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 with one wife. We don't live in a polygamous society. Exactly, exactly. Right. You see what I'm saying? So why would you do that? So he already his mind is warped. And it's a level of perversion now. That that's what I, when I first that's, saw that I'm like, hold up, it's two of them. Like that's that's not. And we have a relationship that is really strong. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, so I'm who does that? And I got a so, hard time keeping up with one. Yeah, so, right. So let alone you got two of your so, old ladies on camera talking about we got a relationship. So this is this is that's my thing. Weak-minded. Entertainment. It's all to me. All of this is entertainment because ain't no right. damn way in hell I'm gonna admit. 
to Lifetime that I'm a bad parent. Right. <laughs> that's oh, all they did. That's, that's all the parents saying. did. That's all they did. That's all they did. Right. <laughs> they just submitted. They just sold, I sold my daughter to this man. <laughs> that's you know what I'm saying? That's like, all they did. That's all they did. I'm going to throw rocks at the building. Right, I'm going to throw rocks. Crazy. Man, you crazy. Man, man cut the I'm going to burn it down. Right. Man, you, know you wouldn't, even, a, wouldn't even made Lifetime. That's what I'm saying. So that, a, now, it ended up on 40, the first 40 years. The first 40 years. Right, right. Say, man, did you kill that dude? Look, for for so the that, record, I don't want y'all to use this against me. <laughs> you, know you see what I'm saying? So, so we just hypothetically speaking. Exactly. <laughs> so that le- that leads me to my first topic, though. How irresponsible decisions could hinder your your money and your legacy. Mm, right. mm. Right, so well, what, what y'all think about that? Well, look, I think. I mean, it, it, it's all it's all. It all coincides together. Like everything is related. Everything is connected. Like one irresponsible decision that you might think be so minuscule, so minor that you like, ah, if I do that, it ain't gonna make no difference. <laughs> right. So like, say if, say if that one, that one cup of coffee or that one, nah, we are gonna change it up. That one car that you say you want, it'd be like, look, man, I'm gonna get the car. It's only five hundred dollars a month. I make such and such and such a month, but at the same time. That five hundred dollar car costing you five hundred, but then the maintenance is right four five hundred dollars every couple of months. And on top of that, you got paper tires and gas and all of that other stuff. Before you know it, that that car is a, is a damn mortgage. So right. that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So the same time you could have got the car that you didn't really want, the 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 Accord or the Nissan or the you know whatever the case was, you could have got that car right. and would have got from A to B. Comfortably, you know what right. I'm saying? But nah, you wanted to have the accurate, you wanted to have the bands, you wanted to have this and that, this and that. But the decisions you make, just looking at it from a, because a lot of people make decisions from outside standpoints. They don't make decisions from how they feel about it. They could actually like the accord, but they know people from the outside would mm-hmm. think they would be more of a, a, a higher standpoint in the bands. Right. Mm. So they would rather say. I'd rather them see me in the bins mm-hmm. and I struggle to make the payments and them see me in the court and be mm-hmm. like, nah, that's just a court. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time, you could be in the court stacking your money and yeah. doing things that's you're supposed to do and keep it moving. That's I a mean, good point. It, it, it all falls on how you think other people look at you. Right. Not everybody, but that's for most people, that's how people think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they like, yeah, yeah. they like, I think people would look at me better. They would think more of me in right. the bins than they would. <laughs> yeah, <'cause, laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and buying the bins is irresponsible as hell. No damn well. You gonna pay? You gonna pay fifty grand for the same for the same A to B that you can get for twenty right. fifteen? And that's you know that's a good point. I, I want you to keep point. that. I want you to keep that. Uh, I want you to keep that same. <laughs> that's the same energy, huh? No, the same thought. <laughs> that thought keep process. That same, keep, keep that, that the same, same accord energy. Process. Keep, keep cool. that same accord keep energy. Same time, <laughs> it's funny because the next the next topic is, is something t- similar to that. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> What you think about that though? I mean, the thing is, bro, it's like you see, what I'm saying we we live in a Westernized society. We live in a society where you know people look at material things mm-hmm. and then they add value to what you have. I drive a Toyota Camry. Right, whatever. Right. I drive a a, 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 a a pickup. You see, what I'm saying so right. that fits my family needs. Right. But when I go and do conferences or I speak on financial freedom or financial success. Or a stock market, they're looking for the Ferrari. They're looking for, you know, the exotic car. People don't listen to yeah, you they don't unless you got that. your line, and you, they expect you, know you to saying? be, you know, stock right. investor and all of that. They right. expect you to and, have and all that. And the thing is, you know, the information I'm giving you is basically, you know, you can do better You're than right, what Tim. I'm doing. You're right. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, information. You can take the information that I'm giving you, right. and I'll perform what I'm doing any given day. So it's empowering you. You see what I'm saying? And then people look at the material things, and I think that's an American thing. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? Like it James is. James Baldwin said, you see what I'm saying? He said it's a great crime to be double-minded in your thinking. You see what I'm saying? He said it's a great crime to be, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's an American virtue to mm. be simple-minded in your thinking. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, you know, to be complex or to be able to look past... Materialism, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's it's it takes maturity. Yeah, it takes maturity. You have to walk in your own destiny. You have to be able to walk in your own shoes to be able to accomplish what 
you know, the universe calls you to accomplish or what God calls you to accomplish, whatever you're into. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that's the thing, man. I, it's just an American thing, bro. That's it's westernized, cool. you know, yeah. it's just... I'm glad y'all on this. Like, I'm glad y'all that, responded that to that. <laughs> I'm glad y'all was because because it's, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be a shoe into the next. But and we gotta hear what Candace got to say about it. Yeah, yeah, that. we definitely need to hear what Candace I'm, got to say about it. Come on, Candace. Candace holding us down for the mothers. Oh and this is, no. This is where, Women's women's hey, international day. women's day yeah. anyway. That's what oh, I'm saying. you need to be, oh, you yeah. need to be on top of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> all the way on. Look, tell Fresh, you you the one to one today. <laughs> today. Funny. Tonight. But I feel like um everybody's gonna make a mistake. It's right. life. You're human at right. the end of the day. But I feel like with social media and everything, it's so crazy that once you make that mistake, it just go overboard exactly. and your whole legacy can just come down and I just feel like it's not fair right because you're human at the end of the day mm -hmm. and it's just crazy how you know that works that's how I feel about it yeah because I mean when we was kids like something happened to you that was embarrassing you dealt with the, the block mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying yeah. oh, now, now you gotta deal with the whole you world you gotta deal with the whole world but and everybody is judgmental it's, like, it's ridiculous right. it's, everybody judgmental it just means we gotta be tougher man we got we gotta we gotta we gotta raise the kids but it, to be tougher it shouldn't mentally. even be like this that this is this is right. this is how I feel about you know irresponsibilities back back in the day you couldn't do one thing as a celebrity and everybody found out about it you can do. You can live your life as a celebrity. That's the whole point of people wanting to be celebrities. Right. You want to be a celebrity for a specific reason. So because you get away with certain things, mm -hmm. because you do certain things, that's your lifestyle. You you want to be a celebrity because of the lifestyle. So now, a celebrity could just be living their lifestyle, mm -hmm. and things happen. Right. Be being human. But human, like human, human it's the with the age of social media, you can't do that. You can go viral over anything or at the drop of a dime. Yeah, because right. everybody is a celebrity now. Every but hey, everybody you, got their fifteen seconds. Everybody, yeah, everybody. Is a celebrity now. Fifteen seconds of fame is a lifetime. And then people the tennis fan so short. So mm -hmm. you could do something in fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds later, she could do something. Mm -hmm. But that's why they call it a thread. Yeah. So I can do something. It's just like if you if if I if I told you, hey, you know, um, Vic used to date this white girl. Why you had to use my name? And and white girl at the same time. This white girl, <laughs> mama, he just making <laughs> a hypothetical. He's and you, not being serious right, right by, now. By, yeah, by, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, by right, time, right, by right, time, right, by right. time you get, by he did time, it. By the time Shout out you, to the white girl. By the time you get to <laughs> your like 80th person, that white girl done had one eye, right. two fingers. That's the way. That's the way the social media. Was, was she from Russia? She was from Russia. Yeah. She was a damn terrorist <laughs> and some more stuff. And so hey, that's man. the way social media works. Hey man, I don't you own said, the rights to these two opinions. Fingers. I'm like, wait, hold on. <laughs> that's just how it is. Yeah. So nowadays, you have to be very careful about what you say and what you choose to do in your lifestyle, mm -hmm. especially if you are famous or if you're in the limelight. Because you, you never know when the cameras are on you. That's true. It's on you right now. You, you never know. Yeah, exactly. Life under the scope. <laughs> Life under the scope. He Currency. Go check that out. I yeah, said, yeah, yeah. Right now. He said, Life mm, under the scope. Mm, Currency. Right, yeah. Check that out. Yeah. Chill out. Yeah, but I, look. I don't know, man. I think, like, the crazy part about it is, like, it's like when the way the stuff's going on now, what, what, what's good, cuz? What's good? The way things are going on now and everything is posted, everything is is a front street, like people's normal lives, people who wanted to live normal lives. And the crazy part about it is the, the, the people who wanted to live normal lives still do social media, not thinking that social mm -hmm. media is putting your normal life yeah, <laughs> on, yeah. Blast. on blast. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Because we, we, do, we do social media so normally, mm -hmm. so unconsciously now that it's like, when you wake up in the morning, first thing you do, like, uh, that's a yep. good word. Unconscious. Exactly. Right. Unconscious. Because, I mean, that's, you do it unconsciously, but at the same time, you feel naked when you when, don't. But when you get the results from what social media gives you, you like, Oh, it's a gift and a curse. I didn't mean to, yeah, I didn't right. mean to do this. Not it. No, fuck you, mean you. You <laughs> mean you. Whether you read the fine print or not, social yeah. media said they was gonna put you out there. Like you got a curse. thousand, you want all these followers, 
but why you don't want all these followers to know what you just posted? You know what I'm saying? Like you posted some crazy stuff, or you you drunk, or whatever the case That's was, funny. and a thousand people see it. That's a good now point. Now you feel bad. I feel like um, Cardi B went through a lot of that. You know, just trying to be like, her. But she's but she soaked Cardi it up B like a her. soldier though. Yeah, she, like she, she'll tell you, she like, hey man, hey. I'm not here to be. I, a did, I did what bro. I'm gonna do. I think Cardi you know B man? Cardi B get it out the mud. Uh, shout out to Cardi B. And and that's, and, and, that's why and I think that. people connect with her right. because she get it out she the real. mud. She real all the way all the way around. Real. And she don't change she, up. And she never she, she not changing. Change. She don't she switch up. Change. Change. You know what I'm saying? So. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Ow. Hey, I, don't, I, don't, I don't approve what Vic just did. I don't, I don't, don't approve what. I don't approve. Hey, hey, hey man, hey man. But look, that's 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 that's, 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 that's pretty cool that you said that. Uh, the fact that unconsciously the social media and everybody say no publicity is bad publicity. Mm. All publicity is good publicity. Yeah. So you got to take the it's bitter the with the sweet. It. It's the way you work. Listen. But. In the case, oh, in, go ahead, go ahead. in the case with R. Kelly, <laughs> why you keep bringing this dude? Because back that's what the topic. No, that's what topic is still on. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. okay. So, so right now, right. if not for me, but okay, if, no, but I mean, really, in, like, in that, the case, that's what's leading the news stories right now. Right, right. right. Standing. Yeah. Go in ahead, the continue, case, continue. in the case with them, they didn't have that back then. Right. So now we're bringing it to the forefront. We're bringing it back. Yeah. Right. We're bringing We're putting it up front, and it's like. And we're running with it as if it was now. Right. But it happened back then. Right. But that shit ain't got video, dude. In the video where the, the chick hollering on the edge. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh, it, would take, it would take the person in that video saying, yes, I was 14, 15, or I was underage to get a conviction. And that's what ha- didn't happen last time. You see what I'm saying? Right. It was, oh, God. It was, it was more, you know, well... It looks like her, or it looks like Kels, but we can't place them in that video unless the person come forward and say right. that's me. Right, right, right. You see what I'm saying? And then we back, we back to that. And but back. he taking a big hit. You see what I'm saying? Because social media. And that's why he said it happened back then. Right. And then not only if it wasn't for social media, R. Kelly was still a free he man. Still, he'd still be out here right. uh, starving. Hey, yep. That's terrible. <laughs> 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 Hey, Vic, Yo. the first point that you made <laughs> and said, mm. we go back. So living beyond your means. This is the mm. next topic. Right. What you said at first, what y'all two said at first to the... What do y'all think about living beyond your means? I mean, I didn't live it, man. I didn't live it. I didn't live it. We didn't live it, man. <coughs> we, we didn't live it. We did it. Man. Listen, I mean, have you ever heard of... Let me back this up a little bit so they can see my face a little bit better. Oh, shit. Hey, how you doing? Uh, uh, Victor the Young. Actor. Lane. Victor Young, actor. But no. Actor? Yeah, actor. <laughs> but no. So, we live the life of, 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 how can we put this, yo? No responsibility, lot of bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, however yeah, that, yeah. however that falls in place, we had no responsibility that and a lot music. of bad. That damn trap that, music. Yeah, exactly, man. That, <laughs> that goddamn rap music, man. Mm. Teresa canceled a goddamn cave. <laughs> but nah, but nah, we had we had all the bread we needed with no responsibility. I mean, we had new whips everywhere, two phones, yeah. clubs every weekend, clubs every week. We was killing it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, the thing is, we was living in a state of what is it? Irresponsibility? Is that a word? Nah. I, look, bro. I think. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> like, <laughs> no, but look. <laughs> no, but it, no, no. But the thing. Want to bring a dissertation? No, but it, no, exactly. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I feel. You. I feel. You. I'm a, yeah. Look, I'm gonna let you speak. But but uh, shit. Beyonce got the best record. The best video. <laughs> And it, he said, hold on, hold on. No, Beyonce got the yeah, best right, video. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but nah. So we had, no, but we we was only 20, 21. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we wasn't even, we was fresh into it. We had never even seen this amount of money. You know what I'm saying? Like, other than other than getting it on the street, like our homeboys did, and our homeboys still do from time to time. But 
at that point, a young dude that's not even 21 with 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 that much of a bag, you know what I'm saying? We driving Infinities and Charges and 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 all this other stuff. We was killing it. Yeah. We had we, you know what I'm saying? We yeah. spending three thousand dollars for for VIP Jones yeah, in one we night. It. We yeah, was balling. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? But at that no wait Don't wait. Tell me that, but no 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 wait wait. Mom, I couldn't wait, do that. No, but we didn't have with that. That's what I'm saying. That was way before. That was yeah. nine years we before my money. son. We was so money. what I'm saying is <laughs> at that point we had no we had no financial guidance on what to do with the money. Mm-hmm. Because honestly, and I hate even thinking about this, yo, dog. <coughs> like mm-hmm. me, you, Dave, uh, Day Day 5509 or <laughs> hey, whatever the case was. Alonzo uh, yeah, Thomas. No, no, because I'm going to say it. Because that shit hurt my feelings. Mm-hmm. We didn't blew through a, we didn't blew through a yeah, meal ticket. Yeah, yeah, we blew we through did. a meal ticket. Yeah, we did. We From did. 05 to now, mm-hmm. and we all everybody was at almost 100 grand I mean, every year. You, you're talking about eating, though. Yeah. Like, eating, like... <laughs> With no responsibility. We blew through a meal ticket. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, if we had financial guidance, we would not be still working two jobs and all this but, other stuff. And we had a bag for everything. But the crazy part about that, we had dreams. Exactly. We, we, we knew what we wanted to do. But see, we had dreams, but we didn't have we didn't have uh, uh, the guidance. Plan, yeah. The we we were just everywhere with Party Hot Entertainment. Some, if so, yeah. <laughs> if, <laughs> if something pop up, we like, oh yeah, let's do that. Let's put the bag on that. That don't drop. Oh, it didn't work out. Fuck it. That's just, that's just, you know what I'm saying? So we was just like, we was all good. We was all in. Yeah. We ain't had no we ain't had no issues, yeah. man. Like that's back when Look. that's back when the money was nothing. I, look, I hear you. I hear you. And yeah, I, come I on, pops. You. Come on, pops. Look, Let's get it. Yeah, I'm OG now. You <coughs> yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, take. Yeah. I'm gonna take my truck. I was in the barber shop. He almost me off of me. He was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You did what? <laughs> <laughs> you did I'm gonna take my truck. I'm OG now. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, the thing is, like, you know, back in the back in the day, you know, it's we we dealing with income inequality. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, you get your hands on a bag. You get your hands on a thousand, twelve hundred dollars. You think, man, this is, you know, this is a lot of money. You see what I'm saying? It's not until you get kids, family, and yeah, real exactly. responsibilities yeah. that you see that, That's right. you know, this is not really. That's guaranteed, you know yeah, but you don't know before but, that. But, 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 mm-hmm. with that $1,200, $1,300, with a 680 credit score mm. and an LLC set up, you see what I'm saying? You can really get a bag. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but did you? you did you? But did you have that? Did you have that? Well, that knowledge a, well, back? That's back the thing. When you I was, was kind of blessed. I was kind of blessed. Yeah, in a sense because I didn't. I wasn't into the cause. I wasn't into the material things. The things that mattered to me mm-hmm. was that my little brother, my little sister, my mom, and them yeah, were straight. It was all good. I, yeah, yeah. Because so I saw responsibility. Had you, but right. you, yeah, that, that, you had. But that was that age. But that's because that's because I left my environment where I was mm-hmm. and I tried to go somewhere else and I saw that it was different. Mm-hmm. So I went from New Orleans to Colorado. Yeah. Like, that was a culture shock. Right. You see what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I'm, I'm dealing with How dudes. How old were you I was 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay. So you I'm dealing with dudes with I'm dealing with dudes with trust <laughs> funds. You see what I'm saying? I'm right. dealing with dudes that's not struggling trying to pay for their school. Right. And here right. I'm trying to take a parent plus loan out. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So that changed my mindset <laughs> early on and that caused me to to kind of look at like you know what I valued. You right. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the rental cars and stunting and going back home and like I'm doing good, but really I'm not doing good mm-hmm. in a sense. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And put value on the things that really matter. So for me, my message to all you young entrepreneurs out there, whatever you into, whether it's rapping, whether it's construction. Whether it's is whatever you see, what I'm saying, get your LLC set up. You see, what I'm saying, get your credit straight. Shout out to LLC. Cause with look, with your credit, <laughs> with your credit, a 680 credit score, you can do more with a 680 credit score than having 100 k in the bank. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, you see that's, what I'm that's saying? true though. So, that's definitely true. Definitely look, true. credit I'm is the you, new power. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and and Jay Z put us on. Yep. I mean, he 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 made it mainstream. But I've been I've been saying this. You see what I'm saying? Because the biggest thing for me, I learned you know the stock market and I learned how to. You see what I'm saying? Because when I came to DC, in the DMV, yeah. like y'all got it bad, bro. It's like a gift and a curse here. You see what I'm saying? Because like here, you got five, six, seven hundred, eight hundred thousand dollar houses. Yeah, and then you ain't. You see what I'm saying? But they give you the like, loan for that job, right, like no problem. Right. You see what I'm saying? And it's like. But won't give you a business loan. Right. Won't right. give you a business loan. Mm. So you. 
you tie yourself down into a situation where you are slave to what you just put yourself right. into, trying to show that hey, I'm progressive, right? And that's not the case. So right. people here, you know, it's it's different. It's real different. So when I came here, I was a little intimidated by the market, mm-hmm. by the housing market, it's and I had to make it the cost of living, right? Here. Cost of living, the mm-hmm. whole nine. Hey, I meant to ask you, what made you come here? Wife wanted to go to John Hopkins. Okay, that's the that's okay. bottom line. Oh, that's yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was like, I'm like from New Orleans to DC. Right. Yeah. Like, that wasn't yeah. even the case. You just came to all the good places. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to DC. She wanted to come to John Hopkins. <laughs> hey, hey, this is a good place. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. She wanted to come to John Hopkins. Hey, you and over there crying, yo. <laughs> 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 you over know, there crying. Keep a straight face on there. Look, I'm pouring my heart out over you over there. He laughing. Yo, he laughed. He laughed when I said shout out. The LLC. He just about to bust out laughing though. <laughs> Let's cry. I'm serious. What's up, though? Angela Banks? What's up, baby? I see you. Man. Hey, hey. But hey. nah. So okay. So so what you got to say about this matter, man? Because uh, you, you you like to be in the cut. We gonna, hey. We about to put her on black because <laughs> she don't mean, never say. Candace, nothing. what you got? I'm doing after this. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you gonna do what after this? Um, living beyond your means. I guess it depends. Like, I was never a materialistic person. I was never the one that go out there and get the new cars. But um, I was always a single mom. So I guess I was living beyond my means. I had my daughter in a private school knowing I couldn't afford it. But Shout out to the single moms. That's a hard job out there. Yeah, like, shout out to single moms. I stayed home so with my daughter for six my, months. My husband, And I know, swear to God, oh, I want to jump. Oh, look, yeah. look, I stayed home with my daughter for six <laughs> months. You're going to take care of that bag. You know, you go out here, you look for help. I stay home you with my daughter for six months. Shout out, like, seriously. For what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on seriously, hold on. look. Shout out to all the single moms out there. I stayed home with my daughter for six months, and I damn near wanted to jump out the window. That's a hard a, job. Man. The psychology... The, the the escapism, the everything that you want to get away. I mean, they're dependent. My daughter, yeah, my yeah, daughter. She's 10 boy, now. If it was a boy, you would be have a different. I'll have a different, but nah. No. Look, I want, look, no, I shout to the single moms though. regardless. You see what I'm saying? So I commend you on that. I commend I you on that. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, Sean, no, no, you still. Uh, not Candace. <laughs> It's on both of y'all right now. But just living beyond your means, I, it was different for me. My meaning of living beyond your means was different. But I do see a lot of folks that go out here and buy these cars, you know, buy these bins and, you know, these expensive cars and can't even make ends meet. You know, it's living beyond your means. Are you done? Yeah, go ahead. No, no, she ain't done. But that's right. the American way, though. It's right? the American way. It's but the I'm going to tell you like this. When it comes to me and living beyond your means, it's not just... Mat- See, a lot of people say it's the materialistic things. It's the, you know, you buy a car that you can't afford it. No. Living beyond your means is, is to me... It's totally different. It's a whole lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. So say you 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 date somebody or you you with somebody, you marry somebody, and you you can't you can't do see you can't do your normal things that you do in life. The normal things you can't do. The normal things. Like you're used to doing this, but you can't do this because you're with somebody. Mm-hmm. Let's just say this. Let's say, all right. I'm on I'm living beyond your means could be something as simple as me me going to this podcast right here mm-hmm. and somebody funding this podcast and I can't pay him back. Right. That's beyond my means. Right. The people that supported you along the way, but you can't you can't stop a, a, a hour and say, "Hey, you know, this what's going, you know, just check them out." Right. So my thing is with living beyond your means is not just it don't have to be materialistic things. It don't have to be about cars or anything. It could be time. Yeah. Your time is your biggest asset. Yeah. That's your biggest yeah. So you don't get it and you so, don't get that shit back. So shit. that's the only thing you don't get. So, the only so thing you can't get back. So a lot of people go out here and the first thing they do when they get a big deal is they go out and they get they spend money on clothes, cars. But you don't even pay the person back that that 
helped you along the way. Yeah, right, exactly. So living beyond your means is is way more than what it's materialistic materialistic things. Mm-hmm. It could be time. Yeah. Okay, all right. You know what? You know she did say she liked this. Let me let me go go over here and say, you yeah, man, Aunt, Aunt Carolyn or whatever, whoever. The, you know, let let me chill with them and, and, and spend some time with them. Right. Your family, yeah. your family. The, the 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 thing of it is, is your family has to be your your biggest accomplishment. If it ain't for your family, see, a lot of people forget. That if it ain't for the family and the people that looked out you along, uh, look look looked out for you yeah. along the way, mm-hmm. you ain't getting you you can't excel you can't unless you pay homage to them. Yeah, you ain't nothing. Yeah, I mean yeah, because I mean, they're gonna be here regardless. Whether mm-hmm. because they knew you when you were down and right. they're gonna they're gonna get you when you out. Exactly. But are you are you obligated? You see, what I'm saying once you once you get out of the living beyond your means to take care of. Yep. Well, let me tell you why. Why? Mm. Because mm. not paying back, not paying back the support, not paying back for the support that somebody gave you, is 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 just is is equivalent to not paying back a loan that a bank gave you. But what value do you put on that? You see what I'm saying? What if your aunt tell you she want a condo? You see what I'm saying? No, I'm not. I'm not. To I'm what not. Extent, what extent, to what extent, what extent, what extent are you talking? I'm not speaking off of materialistic things. I'm speaking off common sense things that you can do on your own. You get what I'm saying? But I, I say, but I if say, somebody supporting you that type of way, they're gonna want something. No, 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 no. No, you're not getting it. You're not getting it. Um, so, 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 say, say, me and you, right? Mm-hmm. We up and move. I lose connection with Vic. Cause I've been. Through. It already happened. It, it, see, see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So now, <laughs> so, no, no, it did, it did. So what I'm saying is, I owe him this time because he supported me to and through. When it comes to anything. So how is that? He about to make me cry. Beyond your means. Because you you can't go back. Living beyond your means, you can't go back. To the people that that support it, just that, that that's equivalent to paying a bill that you that you that that you uh, that's, that's equivalent to paying a loan that you can't that you don't pay back. Mm, I'm not understanding. But the, the reason why, because a lot of times when it, when people live live beyond their means, it's a mind thing. But see, that goes back to the point of a favor, like. You see what I'm saying? When you when you do a favor for somebody, what what value do you put to a favor? But it's not a favor. But see, I mean, in the in the same token, it kind of is because you don't have the means to take care of the situation where you what you into. But the so, means may be time. But I'm I'm saying so. What what value do you put to that? Like you might disappoint the person that you that you slept on a couch with, or you might disappoint the person that told you continue in your journey. You see what I'm saying? Like. What what value do you put to to the person? Just that like you said, them? just like you said, that person might just ask you for time, and you just can't ever be with them. You get what I'm saying? You just can't ever do. Cause I've been through it. That's why. That's why I, I'm saying this. It's like okay, look, we just want to hang out. Bruh. We want to do this, Bruh We done been. We we saw you when you were down and out. We done been through with you. So now, we just asking for you to just come through. Just come through when we invite you to something. Yeah, yeah. I you hear, get what yeah. I'm saying? I, I hear you on that Because living beyond your means goes a long way. That's what I'm saying. That's why I brought the topic up. Because a lot of people don't know that living beyond your means don't have to be money. It doesn't have to be... It could be anything. Spending time with your people that supported you that really care about you like I'm sitting here chilling with two models when I can be chilling with the people that put me on and mm. they call me and I don't answer the phone cause I'm well, chilling with two well, models make sure you call me and that's living two models, <laughs> but that's living beyond your means you know Mick, Meek Mills just spoke on this mm. didn't he just speak on this I seen something in the shade room let, let, yeah yo go ahead what, what um, I, I don't know What's for sure I just seen something yeah. I just seen something on the shave room about it. Him, um, he was asking, you know, for the people that supported you along the way, do you owe them? Mm. All right. Well, look, 
the, and if you do, what do you owe look, them? Let me, let me, so, let me. Take like my said, topic me, away from me, though. Is like, I'm like, sorry. This is my I'm topic. topic. No, but that's a different I mean, topic. Definitely, so we, what, what, I, what I'm saying is. Living beyond your means. So yeah, what yeah, I'm saying yeah. Is, Living beyond your means for me is more materialistic right, that's what than anything. But he's, he's saying, he's redefining living beyond your means, saying that your time is. You see what I'm saying? Just as important as yeah. material things. People don't just be I, asking for handouts a lot that. of times. People don't want money I as means. That. They want I feel time. Like to sit means a different topic. No, listen, no, no, because means could be anything. Means could be time. Means could be money. Means could be anything. Mm-hmm. Your means is is. What you kind of like ties in church? You see, what I'm exactly. Saying? Like, is it just money or is it your time? It, you're voluntary. Right. Are you volunteer? But means, or, you know, because if. I seen you on the street and, and and I'm famous and you not famous. Like, it's no way in the world that I can see my people that put me on living DJ st- Max. What up? struggling. DJ Max. You know, you get what I'm saying? That's like paying a debt that I that's like that's like not paying back a loan. Right. That's not it, it's the same difference. It's the same thing as not paying back a loan. All right, let's 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 uh. But what I'm saying is, when I when I when it says living beyond your means, like I I let everybody you know speak on what it means to them, but what it means to me is that's what it means to you. I that's what it means to me. I mean, I mean that's what that's that. that's how that that's that. how that goes. I yeah. respect that all yeah. the way, one hundred percent. Because yeah. a lot of people 100%. think it's money, but it's not right. money. It don't have nothing right. to do well, with well, material I mean, things. To it's everyone else, voluntary. Is money. I, no, no, no. I, I'm not gonna say that. Not, to the, the, no, the, no. The thing is, it's not the definition. Ain't the definition ain't money? You know what I'm saying? But for you, the way you the way you answer the question. Was in a different is, is in it a came different. Came from a more heartfelt. Yeah, exactly, you exactly. Saying, so like, when we when know. I when I answered it, I said living beyond the means. It was it was on a different side of, of the question. You know what I'm saying? I took a different aspect of how I answered the question. Yeah, yeah. But I appreciate of the course. fact that you answered the question. You know what I'm saying? The way you did though. Like I said, she she said initially she didn't understand how you was answering the question, but. I get it. You know what right. I'm saying? We, we get it now, whatever the case was. But So, because if, if, if all of us eating, if all of us getting money, yeah. and I don't spend no time with you, and we, we grind it together, mm-hmm. I can't give you no money. Yeah. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's the time. The money. You, what else is? You got to understand that time is your biggest asset. Mm-hmm. It's not about the money. Yeah, I know. The money just comes with the territory. So yo, shout out to look. I'm gonna I'm take a quick break, right quick. Shout out to Sean and Candace Infant. You dig, little Sean Junior, because he he be chilling. No, 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 look. I got a I got a five month old. You see, what I'm saying he over there chilling, like he like sleep or he just listening or whatever. Y'all y'all got a special baby. You see, what I'm saying on y'all hand. Y'all, you see, what I'm saying God put a, a particular responsibility on y'all. You see, what I'm saying that y'all gonna have to answer the call to. Like it's, it's a high call. Amen. Amen. You know what I mean? So I just want I just want to point that out. You see what I'm saying? Because I got a, I got a five month old at the house and I can't even put him down to put right. him in a chair. Right. You see what I'm saying? Without him talking. About, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So right, right. shout out to y'all, man. Y'all got y'all got a special one on y'all hands. Right, so He's we got all we got the best in me. The reason why I, I, I finished Murphy, it, Irvin, we your Murphy. <laughs> the reason and everyone else around. The reason why I finished it like that is because <laughs> the last the sky's the limit, and I look just like I just said. Your time, you're right, Angela, and your money is your biggest asset. Right. So, sky's the limit. And like one of my and like the, Angela Banks said, what you value is what your means is. Right. You dig? So it you, don't have you to put be that money. in perspective. You put that in perspective. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. All the way, 100%. You so heard me? I mean, I want more date night. You like, oh. are, are you like Aristotle. You done set yourself up, dude. Yeah. But you like Aristotle but right now, bro. Right. No, I'm just saying, I, 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 I know, you, you I know what it is. You kind of Because me, me and Vic, no, I'm, and we gonna, if, we, if we got time at the end, me and Vic had, me and Vic had a, a valuable conversation on New Year's Eve. And, and I took that in, in, into perspective right. of making that topic. Right. Me and Vic talked. What, what we was talking about? Yeah, you was 
was drunk. Yeah. Hey, man. I was so Vic be, always, Vic be drunk. Always. No, man, no, nigga, I almost cried. Let me tell you something about Vic. No, but see, about Vic. I should kick your ass. I almost cried no, but the thing I almost is, cried when we, when we talk. Me, Vic the be thing having is to me, when, when, I, when I say something, it ain't, it ain't made up. It ain't some shit I'm just saying That's to say true. it. Because I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel either way. I'm going to tell you why he like that, though. Cause I be having chicks that's fifty plus uh, older this sending is, me emails when he with me and when I'm doing hey, look, gigs. This had nothing to do with the memes. <laughs> <laughs> but now, like, where your boy at? You see what I'm saying? Your boy a whole gigolo nah, out here. But now, nah, but now, nah. fifty and plus, you single? Nah, nah, nah. Me and Vicky had a conversation, but, but the, the, and that's why I made that topic right, for right. real. It was off. It was off the same strength. Me and Vic had a long conversation, and I always and, do. and I thought about that shit, and, and Vic every day. Me and, since I know Vic, he been sending me pictures of cars. Right. You know, he he's fascinated by houses, by the big houses. You see what I'm saying? But so, see, that's his thing. thing. But 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 what, no, it ain't materialistic. No, no, this no, is that's I'm his not, goal. No, that's what thrives him, and right. I get that, and I get that. No, but what I'm saying but is, it's needed. It's needed. Though. It's needed. It is needed. Right. It is needed because right. he inspires me right. when he sends me that. Right. 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 The so, thing is, the thing is, is. And when when I send y'all this type of stuff, and let me let me put this out there because I send this shit to a couple of people. The the reason I send y'all oh, special, dog. No, no, <laughs> y'all are because it's only, it's only a short group of people. The thing is, right, listen. Right, right, right. When I send y'all houses, cars, you know that's basically all I send. I want y'all to be like, damn, it's a better lifestyle out here. I'm I'm basically trying to paint a picture. I'm trying, basically trying to paint a picture of what. We could where we could be, where we will be, in a time frame if we keep pushing where we need to. Right. Be. Wow. You know what I'm saying? It's not about it's it's plenty of houses that look good, plenty of cars that look good. I love cars. I right. love houses. Right. But I, it don't even matter if y'all share the same dream as me. I just want y'all to know if y'all don't already, which I know y'all know already. I'm painting the picture that. We Imagine waking that. up in this. Right. Imagine right. waking up seeing this. Right. And it's appreciated. Yeah, it's exactly. it's appreciated. Yeah, it is appreciated. I wouldn't be looking, yeah. looking, looking to do that. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, but you know, it's crazy. When I'm feeling down or when I'm feeling um, not motivated, what do I do? I say, hey, you know, I need to ride around and look at houses, or I need to go around and do certain things just to bring that motivation back to me. And that's what that reminds me of. Yeah, I mean, because I. That, that's all my Instagram is filled with, man. It, my Instagram is filled with houses, cars, cool. uh, uh, clothes, the way I want to dress. You know what I'm saying? Definitely filled with women. But you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not about to, to I'm not about to send, I'm not about to send no women out because I know y'all niggas is married and all that other case. No, no, no. I'm but for, so married. But look, no, but for wife. real, <laughs> but for real, all that's all my, all my, I, I, I want to see on a regular basis the lifestyle that I'm chasing. Wow. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. if you don't, it's no reason why you shouldn't, like, if, if some of the houses, I want to find the perfect house. Like, I seen a house. On, in like Miami or something with the, the yacht out in front of it like parked right in front of this yacht mm. I want to get it blown up and put it on my wall so when I wake up I know what I'm chasing right you know what I'm saying I could, that's but I mean that's what I look on Instagram for when yeah. I scroll through my right. stuff that's, that's and what I know, it is and that's the thing I know I know Vic like we always been inspired by the same thing you know what I'm saying we always been we, we always been on that that's what, the whole reason why I called him for the podcast. We have the same views, the same. The the, the chemistry is yeah. there. What I asked you, what I asked you when 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 we first met and shit. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I asked you when we first met and shit, because I was yeah. I was screening you niggas like y'all was gonna be my assistant. Or it some was shit. funny as shit because when we first met, we had a fucking sh- we had a shop. We remember when you remember that. It's I'm me. talking about way before that. Before we get into all of that, I before we get, that. all right, look. Before, look. before, before Zoe and everybody else. No, y'all was all there. No, but no, y'all no. Y'all didn't know that. Me. Before that, me, you, me, and you and Perry Lee had a shop. Remember, we were supposed to get a shop. That, this is before Zoe. But what I'm saying, yeah, what I'm saying is, ask you the first question I asked you because when I got there. I ain't, I ain't gonna fuck about y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna fuck about nobody in there. I came in there to get the bag and get right, my right, 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 keep right. moving. And that's how I always been. But when I start interacting with with you all, like, because all y'all met my brother before y'all met me. Is, Wait, though. hold up, hold up, Sean. Hold up. Let me let me finish the story real quick. 
when we first met and we started working together and we was working and I'm like the first question I asked because I asked everybody this, everybody I think is will fit the criteria of what I'm trying to do with my life I asked them the same question in that building anyway I, I be, we be working and I be like man what, what I mean so what else you trying to do with yourself man is this 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 the end of what you trying That's to what do? That's you asked him. No, I asked yeah, <laughs> I, of course. But I asked you, I asked y'all, and no homo would be like in the bathroom when we vacuum Yo, the floors nah. or something. Vic, look. I didn't meet. Look, see, see the thing. That's a, that's a crazy thing. Met, look, the, let me tell you something, though. Let me tell you something about me. You see what I'm saying? Because it automatically happens with me. If you ain't got an entrepreneurial mindset, mm. you see what I'm saying? You not going to be comfortable yeah. around me. Exactly, because the conversation is going to be different. The conversation is going to be different. Vic automatically And I don't be fooling With too many people Just from being from New Orleans You see what I'm saying And yeah. I ain't you know Just off the, off the break You see what I'm saying So Sean By the simple fact That you got a clothing design And you You see what I'm saying Your mindset there I rock with you Right Your wife You see what I'm saying I rock with y'all The podcast I rock with Vic Vic was You see what I'm saying Was doing what he was doing At the time well, When I met him I rock with you because you had that mindset, right? And it's all about the mindset. You see what I'm saying? So, right. mm-hmm. like, it's no, it's no coincidence that we all are here right now because we got that mindset to is more to than just a job, right? It's more than just to live and be on your means, right? Because ain't nothing beyond our means when you're an entrepreneur. That's right? cool. You see what I'm disguise saying? The the sky's the limit. See, that's what I'm you saying. Make, you make, mm-hmm. you make, you make, you make it happen. Bottom line. When me and Vic met though, it wasn't it wasn't with the circle that we got. No, I'm not I ain't say we did. That ain't, that's not that's not what I'm saying. But we met off I, bi- off some business stuff off, off, off That's how books. I met that's how I met Vic. <laughs> it off went, some business. It wasn't, it wasn't, Look, Vic was, was emptying was, trash was the cans at the time or something. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. And what did I? We would have never went past where we. And you came to my house the the same day. We had a meeting like the same day. And right. then the nigga with the dress. What's but I, what's but, what's I, what's what I, but other, what I'm saying other, is, other I asked you that before I even. The, look, the thing is, look, and, and I'm not saying what you saying. The conversation was different. What you say? What you saying, saying? What you saying happened definitely. But before all of that, before I went to your house and all that, I because I know. Yeah. I didn't want to. I did, I already knew I wasn't going to talk to certain people right, off right, the right. bucks. We so had I a asked you a certain question a, before we even got to look, look, you come in your house. Vic, and, I'm gonna put definition to this right quick because you see, what I'm saying I live by high power. I live by prophetic, a prophetic gesture. I run into you because I was supposed to run into you. You see, what I'm saying other stallions gonna run with other stallions. Says what up? You see, what I'm saying, and if you fit that category. You gonna fit right into where you need to be. Right. It's nothing that I'm gonna say. It's nothing that Vic gonna say that's gonna get you to your destiny. Right. You see, what I'm saying you gotta walk that thing out by yourself. You see, what I'm saying I ain't preaching right now. You see, what I'm saying I'm just telling you what's real. And the thing is, when I met Vic, you see, what I'm saying I look at Vic as a stallion. <laughs> In itself, mm. you see what I'm saying? Pause, pause, pause. Nice. <laughs> you can say, "Boy, y'all long, y'all black hair, childish, long, y'all black, black hair, silky black, black hair." Vic was a stout because with the without you, with the without you, I'm gonna go on. Yeah, I told that boy that. I told, you see what I'm I definitely saying? Told him that. And and then the same thing with you, Sean. With the without you, with the without Vic, you gonna go on, Candace. Yeah, yeah. With or without Sean, with or without Vic, you gonna go on cameraman. With or oh, without filmmaker, I'm right. sorry, not cameraman, filmmaker. Filmmaker, yeah. With or without whoever, yeah. you gonna be able to go on, and that's the people I want to surround myself around. You see right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Cause there ain't no desperation in that. Ain't mm-hmm. nobody looking for handouts. Ain't nobody looking for nobody putting nobody on. Yeah. You and you lay down the street. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, yeah. everybody gonna come and get what they what they gonna get. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Somebody gonna make it, and that's and that's somebody the, gonna make it out of this. You see what I'm saying? And that's the crazy part because the craziest thing is though, the more that you independent, the more you draw people that's independent together. Like right. we all independent, ain't nobody dependent on nobody. Right, right, right. But we all drawing together because we got the same mindset. That's funny. And when when I was talking to him, like he said, when I when I was talking to him, he like, man, you know, whoop, whoop. I said, I said, uh, uh, whoa. With or without you, I'm gonna make it. Though. You know what I'm saying, yeah. with you know, or that, without you, I'm gonna make it. You know what? It. And that's the crazy thing. That that's that's the thing that wanted me to be like, that's my dog. 
You see what I'm saying? Right, right, you can right, tell me, right, you can look yeah. me in my eye. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you see what some real shit. Man. Yeah, hey, hey, look. You see what I'm saying? That's like With the same, without you, I'm going on. That's like you. saying, like, you know how they be like, real, recognize real? Right. That's the fakest thing I ever heard in my life. Right. <laughs> real, recognize real. Because the same two real people that say, oh, you real and I'm real? Nah. But when it come down they to it, that's I what think, I'm saying. No, I think I think it's a real statement. I think fake people been taking it out of context. Though. Out of context, like say, oh, like man. what we just talked about. What we just talked about, that's real. That's a good perspective. But, right? yeah, that's 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 real. But people who don't got shit going on, people who I'm just saying. yes men into each other, that's not real. Yeah. It's about real yes recognition. We can't real. have no rest men around. That's what I'm saying. That's what I. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Like I'm gonna sit here and lie to you, dog. If it's is it fake, I'm gonna tell you it's fake. If I don't like it, I'm gonna tell you I don't like it. You see what I'm saying? If I want water, I'm gonna tell you I want water. How many people got on Gucci right now? Oh shit! How many people got on Gucci? No, no, no. no, no what, that's, I, what, that's I, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, how many people got on Gucci or flashy clothes? Auntie, right what's now? up, Auntie? Nobody. That's what I'm saying. But everybody that I noticed that say the real blah blah blah, they got on flashy clothes hey, because we, 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 we ourselves out. right now. Exactly, and that's what it boils down to, bro. Being authentic. You see what I'm saying? Being our authentic self. Being what God calls us to be, you see what I'm saying? I don't have to be Rico Suave or some R and B, exactly. Hip hop, you see what I'm saying? I could get in the car and listen to Key Sweat with Vic in the car and not feel a certain way. Right, like nigga, I ain't trying to hear. Like, nah, because nah, Vic, nah, he, with that Keith Sweat, come on, he, I know he touched your leg. Yeah, he. <laughs> I, I know it touched Hey man, I, I hey, look, <laughs> y'all messing up my family. I, how can I have a relationship with my kids? Kill me, oh, oh, y'all killing me, man. I ain't hog, y'all killing me. Man. I ain't hog tied nobody. I don't hog tied nobody. Right. It's like, right, look, <laughs> just think, just think, I'm stupid. Man. Y'all killing me. Man. Y'all killing me. Just think. Just think why, man. why would I with my pants? <laughs> The female, the female that was that, that, that was with your house at your house since she was seventeen. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing her. But wait, he yeah. got two old ladies. Yeah. you see what I'm saying? Right. Come on, man. Hey, look, 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 look. look. We gotta go to the <laughs> last topic, though. All right, all right, last topic. Sky's last the limit, time. though. Yeah. Good, Sky's the limit. Sky is the limit. The importance of setting your goals. Keep going, but we keep pushing on. And understanding your. Your your assets, man. Like you, you, you true your time and your money. It's, it's the importance. Like these people say, sky's the limit. What does that mean to y'all? Like what what is? Because I know a lot of people. First. A lot of people want to buy a Maybach. Go mine, huh? go, hey man, I don't care. Go Yo, for my, it. Look, yeah, man, when expression. it comes to talking about my goals and the sky the limit, you see what I'm saying. The thing is, my kids, my family, like, that's the thing that's very much so important to me right now. Like, nothing else matters. You see what I'm saying? I could walk around with a holy shirt on. As long as my kids and my family are straight, I'm good. Right. That's what it is. You see what I'm saying? So, for me, that's more of a core value for me. You see what I'm saying? The sky's the limit. I right. want my kids exposed to to things, science, to the to STEM, STEM, whatever. You see what I'm saying? Where they can... Make a choice to, uh, you know, make a choice in their future. Right, right, right. We don't right. live in a communist society. You right. know what I'm saying? So when it comes to like up. entrepreneurship, right. you, you want to be able to right. make it. To you know, the toughest they... thing for me right now, my daughter's 11 and she wanted her own YouTube channel. And I'm yeah, thinking to myself, you know what I'm saying? I I'm mean, like, but as long as you gear what she doing. Yeah. Right. But in the same token, it's so easy to fall and lax on checking it. Checking it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so, that's well, true she too. Know how to do it, right? She putting whatever she, she editing. Wanted. She editing videos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And it's like it's scary. It's scary for me, right? Like, honestly, at that age. You see what I'm saying? Like she 11. Yeah. And I know they got predators out here. You see what I'm saying? Oh yeah. And that's the thing, man. Protecting my family from predators. Protecting my wife from predators, because. You see what I'm saying? Protecting myself from predators. Right, right. Because we're going to go through our situations, bro. You know, your mom might die, your dad might die, her mom might die, her dad might die, and you vulnerable. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You got to be that protector regardless of what happens. Right. Regardless of, you see what I'm saying, if she make a bad decision through better or for worse, you, that got to mean something to you. That got to be a core value for you. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and when yeah, you got little is. ones involved, your family, yeah, you gotta keep them protected. You can't, you can't even let them know what's happening right now. 
you can't even let them know when you having a, a dull moment. Right. And as an African American male, you see what I'm saying? There's no safe places for us to go right now in America. Preach, breath. You see what I'm saying? So right now, you know, you know, if we can if we can get a forum together with some of our South African brothers who've gone through apartheid and different things and create a safe place, I think I think that'll help us through in our families. Cause bottom line is, bro, people be talking about we Israelites, Hebrews. And all the other crazy yeah. things. You see what I'm yeah, saying? That's funny. The that's bottom a, that's line. A that's what I'm saying. The bottom line, yeah. though. Take care of your family, dog. Mm-hmm. Bottom line. I'm going to leave you with that. Hey, what you got, Candice? Um, goal setting. Goal setting for me is very important. Um, Sean, you see me all the time setting my goals. Um, I'm constantly writing them out, but I feel like you can set your goals, but you have to plan with it like I break down my goals as well like I'll have a goal like hey I want to start my business but I also have 10 things that I need to do in order to get to you know that that goal um like I said um with my business with my business my financial coaching business I um that's one of the number one tool is goal setting Mm -hmm. so goal setting to me is everything what you want, man? No, look, hey, look, look, re- re- repeat the question for me, man, so I can just go ahead and just go ahead on it. Real, it is, real, it, real quick, it, real quick. It, it, sky's the limit. Goes to the points of goal settings and, and, and knowing your assets and, and liabilities. Okay, but well, listen, all right, listen, listen. Right. So, the, the, the thing is, all right, uh-huh. look, the thing is, real quick, goal setting is definitely important. The thing is, goal setting is important but if you don't write it down it's not a goal it's a wish mm-hmm. second of all if you're not chasing your goal a lot of people just talk about their goals a lot of people just say oh man i want to do this and want to do that want to do this if you don't never push the button you ain't gonna never make it happen all like right. say you know what i'm saying yeah. like say if sean if sean never sean uh, sean we talking about you know what i'm saying we're gonna do this podcast if sean never actually made this happen then we wouldn't be right yeah. here right now to show y'all what's good right you know what i'm saying so that's what i think about it but if if you don't if you don't push the button on your goals and your goals ain't nothing man if your bu- if your goals don't have a button then your goals ain't a goal yeah basically my, you know what I'm saying my thing is is knowing that sky's sky's the limit and if yeah. you got goals don't aim your goals to be materialistic things.